Welcome back to my channel. On today, I'm doing something like you call a two in one video for you guys because I am going to show you guys how I make my smoothie and then I want to uh, go ahead and give you guys a story time of how coffee sent me to the hospital. But before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll show you. Uh, also, hit the notification bell to be notified every time I decide to just wake up out of my sleep and record for you guys. Um, which is crazy. But we're gonna go ahead and get started because I'm hungry and plus today is like liquid day, so yeah, let's get started. So first I don't even know if you guys can see me, but hopefully you can. Mm, yeah, you probably can see me better like that. But, um, well, okay, I'm just going to show you guys. First, things first is blueberries. So, I put like, I don't even know how many blueberries I put in there because I just need the fiber. So, I just pour it in there. And yeah, they're still frozen. And I put that much in there. I don't even know how much this is. I just put it in there so it can feel the bottom. Um, And then next, I'm going to... Um, put one of my pineapple fiber activities in there. So, and you know what? While I'm making these, I'm gonna tell you guys another little story. That the reason why I really hate getting my nails done is because they turn out to be very thin. And before I went in to get my nails done, they wasn't that thin. So, um, yeah, that's what I really hate. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get them back thick like they was. Um, it's gonna take some time, and that only tells me to not let everybody do my nails. And then when I put that in there, it looks like this. Um. And basically, I feel like that was going to give it that white, creamy color. And then I go ahead, and don't laugh at my banana, you guys, because I think it's messing up. But I'm going to put a banana in there. Um, And I usually don't get bananas from Walmart or the grocery store. I usually go to the farmer's market, but... I've been working so much to the fact that I haven't had time to go to the farmer's market. But, um, I probably will this weekend, maybe. Um, I don't know. I might, might not. Who knows? Um, so I put that in there. I usually use a half a banana. But since this banana is, like, messing up already, I'm just going to go ahead and use the parts that I can use because... I don't like when the banana has that on there. People say you still can eat that, but girl, who? Not me. Um, and so I usually cut that part off and just use the banana that way. But um, that's enough of that. So yeah. And then after that, I try to go ahead and add I'm going to add some strawberries, but again, these strawberries don't look all that good either. So yeah, I think I am going to have to go to the uh, to the farmer's market real soon. But I do have some frozen. I just don't have it unthawed. Um, 
because I know I wanted to go ahead and use these up. I was going to use them on a cake, but then I changed my mind and I got on this diet. So it's like, okay, no cake for me. So that's the reason why I changed my mind about the whole cake thing. So we put at least uh, two or three of those in there that's good to go in there. Um, because this is like a whole mess. Um, but usually, I usually try to make me a smoothie, um, once a day, at least, because I don't eat like I supposed to eat. So me eating, I mean, me uh, drinking this smoothie is like sufficing for a meal, so, Yeah. So I'm still telling my body, hey, I'm eating, but I'm not eating enough. So then I turn around after I put more fruits in there, right, just to separate them. I use the peach activia, the one that doesn't have the fiber. Um, I usually use strawberry, but I think I'm out of it. But So I'm going to use the peach one this today and, um, yeah, put it in there. And they do look different because the fiber one has oats and all that stuff in there. And this one just has the peach flavor in it. So it doesn't um it doesn't have all the oats and the fiber and stuff in there. This one just has the chunks of peaches. But um I need my fiber, so yeah. Now that I have that mixed up together, I'm going to go ahead and add the ice. And I'm going to put a little ice in here. So when I get done, it usually looks like this. Um, if I do have enough room, I usually go in with extra blueberries. But today, I'm not really feeling blueberries. And then I turn around, even though it's not enough fiber as it is, as I think it is. And, um, and so I go in with the protein reshake, the strawberry acting shakes I showed you guys, which is a meal replacement. Um, just in case I don't have everything I need in here to actually fill myself up, I go in and just add a little of this. However much it takes to cover the ice. And then I just go ahead and um, try to move the yogurt around so it can go to the bottom. Um, because the yogurt is so thick to where liquids really can't go through it. So I just try to move it around and like that. So it can soak to the bottom if it needs to. But anyways, that's how I make my shapes. And you guys, it looks like this. So I'm going to stir it up right quick. And then I'm going to be back because the sound is like horrible. And you guys, I am using the, the neutral bullet. The, no, it's not the neutral. The ninja. So, yeah. So, give me a second and let me stir this up and I should be back to show you guys how it looks. So, now that I'm back and it's all stirred up, it looks like this. And then, we take the top off and it has this consistency. And you go back in and add ice or whatever you want to add, but mine looks like this. Um, and I really don't like adding all that ice in here, so... What I normally do, you know, it comes with like three or four different tops. Um, so I just switch the tops off from the blending top to the sipping top. And then I really don't like drinking from the sprout. So I have like a lot of straws. So, yeah. This is how I make my smoothie. Um... Pretty good. 
I make my smoothie like this, and I'm not saying I make it like that every day because I don't. I just make it out of fruits that I got laying around, fruits that needs to be used up before they mess up, um, things like that. But I try to put blueberries in every one that I make because it has the fiber that I need. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to just do a straight uh, blueberry or a straight banana one just to see how my body reacts to it. But anyways, um, let me clean up and we'll get straight into this story time. You guys want to stay tuned for this. So, it's probably 5 or 6 o'clock. I don't know. But I'm home from work and I'm very tired. But I wanted to show you guys what I made for dinner or whatever. It can be lunch or whatever. But this is um, street corn, the recipe I got from my coworker. But it's vegan, so I'm trying to see how that how it tastes. But also, you guys know this is tilapia. Um, but this is just something I will probably normally eat for now on because I have to get used to not having meat at all. So, um, this is Mexican corn. It has corn, of course, um, vegan cheese, a uh, vegan sour cream, vegan mayonnaise, but not mayonnaise, but mayonnaise, and then it has garlic, um, chili powder, um, oregano, um, did I say garlic? Um, I think that's it. And sour cream. I did say sour cream. Um, and then of course, this is pan seared tilapia. I use olive oil, well, EVO, um, and pepper, uh, white pepper. And then I used a little of Obey seasoning. And that's it. And then she also told me you could take this, whatever left over, <coughs> and make, <coughs> excuse me, and make uh, fish tacos with it. Because this right here is just another form of the taco seasoning that you need. It just got corn on it. So tomorrow, if I have anything left over, I'm just going to make it into a taco. And probably take it for lunch or something. Or warm it up and take it and have it for dinner. So yeah. I have to hurry and get through eating. Because it is 6.28. And my eating time is at 7. So yeah. But that's all I wanted to show you guys. That I'm still on my diet. Sort of, kind of. And it's day 10, I want to say. Day 10, day 11. So, yeah, no, it has to be day 13, it's, it's day 13, yeah, day 13, I have to look at the calendar to make sure, but, yeah, I'm gonna eat these, and shower, and just relax, and watch some YouTube, and yeah, so, that's all I want to say, I hope you guys enjoyed the video before this. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I cleaned up. Um, I have my smoothie here. Um, and my face is still dry, but we're not gonna look at that. But I am going to tell you guys um this story time that I came here to tell you guys. I want to do a two in one because I know some of you guys probably wonder how I make my smoothies. Um, and this is how I make them. Um, hopefully by the time I finish this story time, I'll be through with my smoothie because after this story time, I have to go to work. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, this all happened when I was working at Office Depot. And this is probably my first year in, um... My first year in um, uh, college, in university. 
so um i'm used this is how my morning usually go i wake up shower brush my teeth all of those good things and then i pray then i do other stuff after that and then i make coffee drink coffee i really don't eat breakfast like i supposed to shoot me because i know better but anyways um so really coffee is like my breakfast so that's what i that's what i had um so it was just like a normal day to me um so i had got to work and this is the time i found out i had received a new position and and on this same day we had trucks like truck after truck after truck now if you work at office depot you know the trucks can be hit you know they can be very 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 big but um we got it done i had a great team who helped so we got it done um i want to say it was around because i remember i went to work early that day because i had classes like early early in the morning so when i got from class i went on ahead and went to work and you know that's the good thing that I loved about Office Depot. Like, if you wanted to come in early just because you didn't want to go back home after class, they'll let you. Um, and if you needed a day out to handle personal business, and if they fully, fully, fully staffed, then they'll let you off that day, which was always good for me. Um, because at the time, this is the same time I was dealing with my uncle passing. Um, this is the same time I was dealing with my whole family issue. So, it kind of worked out. But anyways, um, I want to say that it was on one of those truck days. And um, I was just chilling. Um, I clocked in for work. And I already started feeling like jittery, but I'm thinking like it's just the caffeine and the coffee. But the thing about it is I never felt jittery before. So it, it really like it puzzled me, but it really didn't stop me from continuing on with my day. So um, I want to say probably about 2.30 between 2.30 and 4.30 is when I start feeling weird, weird. Um, and I was I was super busy. I remember this day because the air went out and all of that good stuff. And I was like, bro, this can't be happening. Um, we had trucks and then this the day where I had on that black, under black shirt. It was hot. Um... And you guys probably know, because if you go back to my later videos, I did some of them when I was at work, uh, going re getting ready to clock in, and then I think I did like one when I was getting off work. But if you go back like a couple, a couple, of, not even a couple, of, I want to say a year ago, um, you'll see where I did a video in my red and black shirt that was Office Depot. Okay, anyways. Um, I'll try to link one below, um, just so you guys can know what shirt I'm talking about. But I had on that shirt plus a black undershirt, a black, uh, muscle shirt, a black tank top, whatever you guys want to call it. So we was working, working, working. I was working. Um, this is when I first, um, got promoted to being, um, operation manager. And I love Office Depot. To this day, I still go back. If I wanted to, I still can go back and work for them. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. This is when I got the operation manager position. And I was happy. But I also knew that with the operation manager, I already was doing part of the job. But then I have to understand that that wasn't the only part. I had other parts to do. So, um, we had a whole meeting about what they expected me. Um, 
what else they expected of me and how much I was going to get paid for that position um, and how many days I could take off, how many days I needed to be at work. Um, this is when my PTO start kicking in, paid overtime, I mean paid time off, my bad. And, um, this is where, but the thing about it is, I was still considered a cashier, um, at first, but then when people just start quitting, I just start moving up the, the, the line very fast. Um, and I was already getting PTO, but it was like, just for my personal family issues that they started giving me PTO. Because I was a great worker, and plus, he know when he called me and needed me to come in, I'd drop everything and just go in if I'm not doing anything. Which, that happened not that often, but it happened often enough for him to know if he needed me, he could count on me. So, um, I did that, and then that's how I really got operation manager. Um... I was more of the operational manager on the front end, making sure the cashiers do what they do, pull draws, get money, um, do inventory. Um, I was operational manager for part-time at the back, only when the manager is not there. And it usually be me and another guy there every day, well, every night, because I felt like I was more on night shift than day shift. Um, but I, that was an amazing job. Um, that's probably the only job where I go and have night shift or day shift or any kind of shift they provide for me because I know, um, the money that I get from it really pays off. Um, and the thing about that job is, um, you get, you they really don't tell when you get raises, but when you look at your check or when you look at your bank account, you can kind of tell you got a raise. And they usually give you like 10 or 20 cents a raise every two weeks. So that was kind of amazing. But yet again, it wasn't amazing because you never know, because your check wasn't at a steady amount. And plus, they work you so much to the fact that you you never bring home the same amount of money. Sometimes you bring home a lot. But when they feel like you've been working overtime too much, then they'll, they'll take you off so many hours. And then that's when you'll have a low paycheck. But the thing about it is, you usually have that low paycheck in the middle of the month. They never give it to you in, on the first of the month or the last of the month. So that's amazing because they understand you got bills on those days. But sometimes in the middle of the month is when they usually cut your hours because... That's when the trucks kind of slack up, so it kind of makes sense. Um, so moving along, moving along, the day went by, and this is it was I could have sworn it was around like four or something because the manager, the general manager, was getting ready to leave, and usually when he leaves, he'll come find all the managers. Um, we did have walkie talkies, but he was the type of manager where. He rarely talking to walkie talkies unless he picking at us or rather and when I say picking I mean like as in fun or he he need us to actually do something for office depot. But um when he wants to talk to us he'll usually come and find us himself. Um and and I never could understand why the assistant manager was was there but Anyways, um, so moving along, he left, and I can say I had another cup of coffee, probably around about, when I got there, it was around about two, so that was my second cup of coffee, so he left at four, um, I want to say around about 4.35 is when I start feeling the worst. Um, my heart had elevated. Um, it felt like my heart was in triple drive. It felt like I was. I I started having the shakies, and and 
the manager that was there with me, the assistant manager or or the stock manager or the back end manager, he was there with me always. And he was one of my friends and to this day we are still friends. Um but we he he said, Are you okay? Because you don't look okay. And then this is when I pulled him to the office and told him I'm not okay. Um, something is not right. Maybe it's the caffeine. I don't know what it is, but I'm not right. Um, so he said, have you drunk water today? And you guys, I was drinking water from the time I woke up to the time I got to work. And just to flush the caffeine and the coffee out of my system, I drink water. But that day, child... It wasn't working. So he went and got me a cold bottle of water out the refrigerator and told me to stay in the office and drink that. Then I want to say he, he he was over the intercom and over the little um, mic and he asked me did it help and I'm like no. And I told him to come to the office because I need help. You guys, it got to the point to where I couldn't even stand up. And it was crazy that it got that far because I'm like, bro, something's not right. Um, He said, well, can you stand up and walk to the, the, the office door? And I'm like, I can't get up. At that time, I couldn't feel my legs. It felt like all my nerves was frozen. Like, they, they wasn't moving. It was still. So... He said, do you want me to take you to the hospital? At the time, I'm like, bruh, what the hospital going to do that I can't do? So, I, 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 got, I told him to go get bags of ice. And we usually have these bags of ice up in the freezer just in case people get hurt. And I put them on both of my knees, and it was the worst feeling ever. Okay? It felt like... It felt like my my knees was actually freezing. So I threw them off, like actually threw them off. Um, and he said, that's it. We'll call it 911. Because both of us couldn't leave the store, but I was going to the hospital and I need a witness, so I had to take one of the cashiers. And to this day, I took Megan, and, and she the one that helped me out the most at the store she we was best of friends we was work buddies really so Megan if this ever catches you which it probably won't but thank you for everything you did for me at that store we was actually work buddies and yeah but anyways um I went to the hospital, the it it like it took the ambulance forever to come, and the ambulance is like right down the road around the corner from us. So I'm not, I'm pretty I'm not sure why it took them so long to get there. Like, bro, and we was in a time where it was a lot of shootings and killing and gang violence, but, bro, it took y'all forever. Now I see why most people die because it takes a ambulance 45 minutes to get from a five minute drive and and you had the lights on so what's taking so long bruh? So I get on the ambulance um before I even get into the ambulance they come in the back office and ask me what's wrong um can I walk at this point I'm not sure what they was doing because they said they was doing something. He gave me a shot or something. And whatever it was, it, it works because I got up out that chair and said, I'm good. I can walk now. And he seen my eyes and he said, no, you're not. You got to go to the hospital. Um, so, at this point, my eyes were so dilated to the fact that they could, they knew for a fact that I was high. But I wasn't high. It was just a lot of caffeine. So, moving along, moving along, I want to say it was 
I don't know. It took damn near an hour to make it to the hospital. Felt like it. And it's like, they didn't even, I don't even remember them cutting back on the light. So I guess they thought it wasn't that big of an emergency. But we was, me, the ambulance people, Megan, we was all having a big conversation like it wasn't nothing. So when we finally made it to the hospital, they asked me what I ate that day. They asked me what I did that day, all of that stuff. And I told them, um, <laughs> just like I told you guys, I got up. Drunk a cup of coffee, went to school, and that's when I drank a bottle of water. I'm for sure I drank a bottle of water, because I always make sure after coffee I drink a whole bottle of water. Um, and then I um, and then I went to work, had another cup of coffee, had another bottle of water, and then I just stayed busy the whole entire time. And then she went on to ask me, have you used the restroom? And I'm like, no. And come to find out, I drank all that water, all that coffee, and I never urinated. So, and I never knew why until she told me that I had to, the caffeine, I was in caffeine overload or something. Whatever. So, they gave me a lot of stuff, a lot of medicine to actually flush the caffeine out of my system they gave me a lot of stuff to actually make me urinate and all of that stuff so they kept me there i want to say every bit of 8 30. the the assistant manager or the manager that was over the stock he came and picked us up and then we actually went back to the work and i actually closed down um, and I had to write a report and all of that stuff. And, yeah, so when I urinated and all that stuff, I was straight. I was good to go. It was just I had too much caffeine in my system. So now I tried to watch my caffeine intake or <clears throat> or I tried to, um, I just tried to grab me a, a Coke or something. Something I know that is high in caffeine. Um, and try to drink it, and it'll do. It'll give me the same feeling as it would if I drank one cup of coffee. But you guys know I'm on this diet, so I really don't mess with caffeine. I usually have a banana or something and just go to work. Um, and that's one reason why I left energy drinks alone too, because I feel like, and then the coffee made me feel worse than energy drinks do. So, that probably was something we are with it, too. But I did write up a report to let the manager know why I left, why I didn't clock out, all of that stuff. And, yes, they did take an hour off my paycheck, which is fine with me. Um, but I made sure that Megan um, got her hour because it wasn't her fault. I just needed somebody to be a witness. Um to me going to the hospital and that wasn't fair to actually take her off the clock for something she had no control over so the next day like I said I made sure she had her hours and then I had subtracted one of my hours which was fair um which I really didn't care because it was fair um so yeah that's how it was and I told the, I told my uh, manager, the store manager at the time, what was going on. And he said he'd been through the same thing. He just had to watch his, um, his caffeine intakes also. And it's basically because caffeine and you working in heat and you constantly moving and not letting the caffeine sit in your body. It's basically making the caffeine go on overload, and then it's going to send your body into a respiratory and all this stuff. So, we got that handled. And after that, I felt okay. Um, he took me off schedule the next, next day after that to make sure I was good for work come Sunday because I was going to be there by myself Sunday. So, he wanted to make sure I was good Sunday because Sunday I still had to come in and make sure all the prices was right and all this stuff. So that was good. But anyways, that's the end of that story. 
um, it wasn't one of those stories where something crazy happened, but it was just coffee sent me to the hospital. Um, it wasn't embarrassing, um, but it was crazy because I've never been through stuff like that. Um, but I guess you live, you learn, and you'll catch something every day if you work in a warehouse. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that little story time. I have to get off this thing and get ready for work. But um, I hope you guys have a great day. It is Friday for me, thank God. Um, But, yeah. If I don't forget, I'll link some of those Office Depot um, videos below for you guys. If I don't forget. Try not to forget. Um, so yeah, and like I always tell you guys, if it's the weekend, stay out of trouble, stay safe, wear your mask, don't wear your mask, it's your choice, um, uh, spend as much time as you can with your family, because this weekend will be funeral weekend for me, so, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next week or tomorrow, bye guys.